I am here with Santhi Wen, and I am so happy to be with you. You are the first voiceover actress that I am interviewing. Oh, it's a pleasure. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> and I was, upon doing my research, I saw that you didn't really get a traditional start into voiceover work. So how has that impacted you coming into working on dubbing anime? Um, so, I, I mean, I think when you ask any voice actor, there's no one way in. Um, I just happened to get in through a uh, competition, and but but I had um, theater training before going to voiceover, so I, at least I had that um, in my back pocket. But when it came to dubbing anime in particular, I kind of had to learn on the job how to get the timing right because that's the biggest factor when it comes to dubbing. You have to wait until like it hits a certain mark to start your line and you have to match like what's on the screen like whenever the character like opens their mouth is when there's supposed to be like a word or a sound that's like that you have to match to it and so um you'll get weird direction afterwards like oh you need to um quicken these three first words in the, the sentence and then like slow down for these last words here so you have to like perform it the same way or maybe adjust however they've given you but you also have to think about the timing so that you're matching like the picture so you're reading the line for the first time on the script down here but your eyes kind of have to like shift up and down make sure that you're matching the character as they're speaking so it's a lot of like juggling <laughs> <laughs> that sounds intense are you able to look at the sub beforehand or do you choose to watch it before? If I can, then I definitely always research and try to watch as much as I can if anything's out. And sometimes, like, for the stuff that goes directly to, like, Netflix nowadays, um, there's no information out, if, especially if it's a very new series. Like, there, if there's no manga, there's no, like, information out there, there's nothing to, to like, fall back on. Right, but, so you just have to, like, go along with it. Yeah, you go in and the director kind of fills you in and tells you about what's going on. But... For me personally, I like to see things ahead of time because it, it kind of gets me into like that world and the characters and their relationships and everything else. Right. Oh, that sounds so aw that sounds so exciting to have that challenge because I feel like people might think it might get routine, but from the sounds of it, that sounds like every single time you're going, it's something new and fresh and exciting. Um, so, like I said, I had been doing some interview, some research on your past interviews and your social media handles, and you're somebody who's been a fan of anime. I was looking and researching some other people, and that's not a always the case it's like this is a new job for them they're not into anime so having been that you've been a fan of anime and into nerd culture how is it feeling working in a field of something that you love it's it's super exciting it, it's really exciting and I um I always feel like this kind of pressure to do really well because you know I, I feel like you know there's like the always the the sub versus dub wars and stuff but I feel like nowadays a lot of us are fans and we want them to sound good so that's why you know like that's why I, I want to be in it because like hopefully I can you know like improve on like what what's been done although like you know that's kind of arrogant to say because there's like amazing dubs out there but um but yeah I, I feel like we all go in trying to do our best and a lot of us have also like study Japanese so it kind of helps when you're like like listening uh, to like the Japanese um before you like dub the line because you preview in Japanese and then you do the line so you have context for the, the emotion and stuff like that so sometimes it's it's kind of helpful in that way too but um but yeah I am I'm just really happy to be able to be in it and um to enjoy it with my friends when it comes out and be like oh my god it's <laughs> I would be if my friend was a voice actor I think I would be like freaking my friend's freaking out now that I'm here so Aww. I but I, I understand that and I feel like there's such a narrative on dubs because personally I don't usually watch dubs but the newer ones are way better because it is coming I feel like more attention is being put into what they're doing because mm -hmm. I think back then they would just be like alright we're just going to change these lines and then it's going to be completely different than the source material yeah I think there's um, mainly because um censorships work differently mm -hmm. depending on like the network but nowadays uh, the things especially if they're going like just on like Crunchyroll or Netflix like it's a little bit different so they can get away with like different things like um like if you like working with director Alex Van David he is super meticulous with the way he directs and he you know he'll rewrite things or rewrite things so that it is more natural sounding and not like that dubby kind mm -hmm. of quality um and just so it's more colloquial and it's more natural and make sure that it fits the flaps right. So it, we're not like trying to squeeze something in that that's not fitting. So um, 
So yeah, I feel like there's a lot more care being put into the quality of dubs now. Yeah, and I think now that it's so mainstream, I think that's a good thing about it being mainstream, where now every, they're like, we're actually going to care and love what we're doing. Um, so the one thing that I loved when you talked about this in this in this interview, because it's something that I've personally dealt with, and I know my audience, we do have a focus on mental health, and you've talked about dealing with impost, imposter syndrome before, and that's something that anybody, whether you're in this industry, whether you work at Walmart, that's something that you can relate to. So do you have any advice uh, or any insight on what's helped you that might help somebody else? So for me in particular, it kind of helped to speak to other people, like um, uh, other actors, and because like a lot of us do feel this because we're working with like people that we've idolized and watched for like a really long time, and now suddenly, you know, we're in the cast with them, or they're directing us, and you have to go in and be like, okay, well, I auditioned for this, I was chosen out of like this many people, like... You know, like, I, uh, I, you know, I, I have a place here. And you have to understand, like, you know, I've done the training. I've, like, worked hard to be where I am right now. And so, uh, you know, you have to kind of, you know, pump yourself up a little bit so that you um, can go in and work confidently. Because otherwise it's going to kind of, like, you know, like, squeeze and, like, eventually, like, you're, you know, you're just going to implode. <laughs> um, but, yeah, and, like, especially when I feel... Like, maybe I'm not as good as everybody else and things like that, then I put myself into classes. I, I train myself up so that I can be like, okay, I've been working hard on, um, like, perfecting this particular skill or this genre of voiceover and this and that so that I feel like, you know, I have, um, you know, like, the this background to, you know, support my claim to be a voice actor. <laughs> Right, and that's awesome, and I, I love what you said about doing the additional like training and stuff, but reminding yourself that you have that. Because I think when you're in that mode, you forget, like, oh, I'm not meant to be here, I just got lucky, and it's like, no, I worked my ass off to be here. Mm -hmm. um, and then the final question that I have, I, just at the last couple of years, there's so many animes that are coming out, and every year, the list of what's getting on is just getting better and better. So what animes are you looking forward to next year? Oh, my goodness. I haven't really um, kept kept up with like announcements for upcoming anime, but um, I can say like for right now, like um, uh, anime that have just started up, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what's happening in with like the the last season of Food Wars because that's like ongoing right now, and so is uh, My Hero Academia. Oh yes, so good. I just caught I just caught up to My Hero Academia. Me, I'm a couple episodes behind, but. Oh my god, it's so good. And then, um, I hope they make a second season. I think they announced it. Second season of uh, The Rise of the Shield Hero. Sounds really good. Um, yeah. Uh, for anime. For video games, like Persona 5 Royale is coming out next year. So, I'm excited for that. <laughs> Are you working on any other video games? Uh, yes, but I don't know if I can say any of them right now no problem <laughs> but we'll just have to be on the lookout to hear your voice well thank you so much for interviewing with me that's all the questions that i have